Hello everybody, welcome back to Super Gaming Review. It is, I believe, morning right now, like uh, 12 o'clock, whatever. I want to make a quick video on the brand new PlayStation 5 Pro. Now, um, I don't know why that news would be exciting to anybody, because we knew that uh, with the previous generation, PlayStation has been doing their Pro models, which honestly are kind of like... Um, I do like the PS4 Pro, honestly. Just because of the way it's designed and everything. But it's not really a necessary console that anybody needs. So, I don't understand why anybody would be excited over a PS5 Pro. And honestly, the generation has, in my opinion, been pretty... Well, crap, you know. There's been some fun games and some, like, fun things. And I do like the PS5 controller and, and stuff like that. But, um, again, I've, I've been going backwards, you know. I've been playing my Atari 2600 over there, and I've been playing my GameCube recently, and um, I've just been going backwards when it comes to gaming. Um, <clears throat> the more we get to, well, the, the more um, the new consoles come out, the more I keep going backwards, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, but anyway, just to make a quick video on it though, um, the PS5 Pro is apparently going to be $700. Again, um, if you already have a PS5, a slim, or the original, I don't know why you would need a Pro to begin with. Um, and even if there was, like, maybe there's going to be, like, Pro games that would be exclusive to just the Pro model. But I still think it's stupid um, if you're going to buy a $700 uh, <coughs> console that you can get cheaper. And if you buy a $700 console with, like... A new $70 game with it. Like, the prices right now in gaming are really ridiculous, okay? Who in the right mind, number one, is gonna want to pay $700 for a game console that you can technically already have for cheaper? And the PS5 prices are already going up, actually, on PS5 Slims. And, um, you know, I've seen it on Amazon, or you can actually find a PS5 original model. The big fat model for like five hundred dollars as well. Um, PS5 games, all as well as Series X games, it's also on the Xbox side. Um, but you know, these new games nowadays are also like seventy to a hundred dollars. So it's like, the hell is the point at this point? You know, I mean, obviously, if you're somebody who has a lot of money, um, you know, if you have all that money, I guess you know, good on you. You know, go go buy a new. Uh, $700 piece of crap where you're going to be playing mainly PS4 games on this new $700 piece of crap. Not to mention that if you do want some of the newer games, you're going to be paying $70 to $100. Plus, you're going to be paying for all these subscription services if you want to play online. I kind of... I'm starting to understand PC gamers and why PC gamers say that uh, game consoles nowadays... Or kind of just like a scam, or uh, it's just cheaper and better to be on a gaming PC because, well, yeah, you have to pay for subscriptions if you want if you want to play online. Um, again, the PS5 Pro is seven hundred dollars. You're paying for seventy dollar games these days. Some games are a hundred dollars, and I think it's really ridiculous. Um, you know, the ninth ninth generation, in my opinion, has been. You know, I don't want to say it's like the worst generation ever, um, but I would say that it's kind of like, it, it still is, in my opinion, the generation of nothing. It's definitely the generation of expensiveness. It's definitely the generation of greed, I would call it, because, you know, PlayStation and Xbox, I think, are very greedy companies, especially Nintendo. If you're somebody who's a Nintendo fan and you own a Nintendo Switch, um, Nintendo is also a pretty damn greedy company. Um... If you look at, you know, just over the years, Nintendo has gotten really, really greedy. Um, that's why I like older Nintendo consoles, because they're cheaper and better to get into. And, um, you know, yeah. Uh, Nintendo Switch, in my opinion, isn't too good of a console. The Joy-Cons are cheap, and you get Joy-Con drift, which is sucky. And Nintendo actually, Nintendo never fixed the Joy-Con issue with the Joy-Cons, with the drifting on the joystick. And Nintendo games are also very expensive. And for Nintendo Switch, they started to... They they did, like, um, these old games you could play on PS3 or Xbox 360. 
but they made them $60 on the Switch, right? So it's like these companies nowadays are very greedy. Nintendo, Xbox, PlayStation, all three of them are very, very greedy these days. Um, also, the PS5 controller also has drift that people have been experiencing. So, yeah, it, it's basically the generation of the generation of greed, the generation of nothing, and the generation of um, overall just expensive nonsense that you don't actually need. <sighs> but anyway, I just want to make a quick video on this. Hope you all enjoyed the video, and uh, leave a like. Comment down below what you think about gaming nowadays, or what you think about the PS5. Uh, pro that has been announced, but again, um, I'm not going to be buying any new consoles. Uh, I mean, if they're retro systems, yes, I will buy them, but um, I think a $700 PS5 Pro is a waste of money, and I think it's stupid in general. But anyway, uh, comment down below what you think. Hope you all have a uh, hope you all have a good day or night. Again, though. Um, yeah, I think the PS5 Pro is stupid. Um, honestly.